What we're also doing by using the probe, the probe goes into the wall and not only are we getting a resistance meter check and that's how we get the moisture content, mm -hmm. is this thing actually sends a current through and it's measuring the resistance. Yep. The wetter it is, the easier it passes through, the higher the reading. Sure. So basically what we're doing then is contacting the wood underneath. The stucco is not the issue. It's what's going on behind the stucco. So that's why we're going in. What it also does too is it gives us a feel of that wood underneath. If it goes in and it's solid, great. If it goes in and it's mush, we know we've had chronic water. And even though today we've had a dry period now, if it's been chronic water in the past, it's going to show up with either soft sheathing. In some cases, we'll drill through the stucco and there's we can't even feel any of that at all underneath. I don't use a jig, but after doing enough of these holes, you can get pretty good at lining them you up. You got a so pretty good idea, don't you? <laughs> and then we have a reading of 10 and a half. Just make sure we get, as I kind of pound in, I'm trying to set it into the wood a little bit. Yep. So we're not getting just a surface reading on the building paper. If we go up and document the whole house for them, then they know exactly what they're dealing with coming in. And that's really what we're doing in a lot of cases is basically providing a roadmap to the problems. We're good. It's firm. Good news. It's 9%.